Get jiggy with it. That was awesome. Listen, I don't care what anybody says, but in my opinion, tonight's wager task presentation was simply the best of all other presentations that the housemates have performed since the beginning of the season of Pippi and Sam's this season three. Guys, no caps. I enjoyed every bit of it from start to finish. I did not see a mistake. Okay, maybe there was one or two mistakes here and there, but hey guys, I don't care. I mean, it was simply perfect. I mean, according to Big Brother's standard, yeah, I mean, being in a confined space, you know, putting up such a performance like that, in my opinion, guys, that is the proper embodiment of a national day, of a heritage day. The housemates gave it their best shot and they tried. They did great. Even Big Brother was seriously nitpicking, looking for where to, you know, fault them, but he gave up because there was absolutely nowhere or nothing he could use to pin them down and so the housemates won their wager tonight but before that um i'm just gonna go ahead and give you all of the juicy details of what and what was required of the housemates that they should do before winning um tonight's wager let's get into it welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory i am the girl with the tea and the tea of this video is all about the theme of this week in the bb and zanzi mansion and aside that the weekly wager task that was briefed to the housemates to perform prepare for and execute tonight which they have already done now starting with um the theme of the week the theme of the week is heritage week so the housemates had been instructed to put together create a big brother zanzi national day now what does that mean now this is just like every other national day or independence day that countries around the world celebrate now in this regard big brother is giving the housemates an opportunity to create different items different concepts that would help them turn the big brother world into their own little world their own country and then as proud citizens of that country celebrate you know proudly with their own national anthem their flags as a matter of fact guys just hold on let me list out the the things that biggie has actually instructed them to create to help them you know create a memorable national or heritage day experience now the housemates had been instructed to create a big brother flag they had also been instructed to create a coat of arms with an explanation of the concept behind the creation um, they were also to create a national anthem which they will perform and a cadet ceremonial parade guys i've heard of such a lot of times and i've never really witnessed completely from start to finish a cadet ceremonial parade but tonight i witnessed one and it was worth every single second of my time and moving on they were also to create a national bird an animal and a flower that they will draw with explanations of what informed you know their choice of any of those items all of these items put together will be introduced to big brother with you know concrete explanations of the concepts and whatever informed the selection of all of those items and so guys the housemates had invested so much time effort and energy this week to ensure that they did not lose their wager remember last week they had lost their wager because they had been so confident that oh yes we've won our wager twice in a row now so uh let's wager 100 percent once again and even though we're not very serious we just might as well win this wager as well but then they got a shocker because of course their performance was a flop and then Biggie listed out all the loopholes and all the rules that they had broken all through the week and we all know that winning the weekly wager task guys it is not 100 percent dependent on the presentation that happens on thursday night winning the weekly wager task begins from the moment the housemates receive the brief for that week so from that time biggie is monitoring and observing all of their behaviors in the house their attitudes to executing the task as he dishes it out to them the way they handle conflicts in the house the way they adhere to the rules and regulations of Biggie's house, the way they strictly obey every single instruction that Biggie dishes out to them. And so guys, the same thing applied this week as Big Brother was strictly monitoring every single action and activity that was taking place in the house. And for Big Brother tonight, they actually tried and Biggie also did not fail 
to mention that, okay, fine, even though he had noticed that from time to time there were conflicts brewing here and there, and some housemates were almost tempted to be extremely vindictive, but then they were able to put aside their differences to make sure that they worked together as a team, as a group, hand in hand to bring to life all of their ideas, their creations, and to prepare properly for tonight's presentation. Now, to start with, a very special honorable mention that I will not fail to acknowledge on this video is Temba. Guys, can we just give Temba a standing ovation? Come on. Yeah, maybe in Zamzi style. Let's give Temba a standing ovation. He deserves it, guys. I mean, I'm not trying to give all the glory to Temba, but let's call a spade a spade. If there was no Temba in the house, guys, trust me, I am not sure that all of those drawings and paintings will really come out alive. I mean, guys, Temba is seriously, what should I call it, almost indispensable in that house. I'm not saying all the rest of the other housemates are useless. No, they, they are not useless, but... I mean, guys, come on, look at the sculptures, look at the drawings, look at the paintings, look at the sketches, look at the original works of art that Temba created. I mean, it is during tasks like these that we see Temba's personality come alive. It is during, you know, opportunities that, like this that we see Temba's um, artistic skill come to life you know the fact that he is um is it a tattoo artist guys we tend to see it come alive we see temba in his element even though his dracula personality tends to be very very annoying and irritating these days but i was super relieved that at least from tuesday to today thursday he was really engrossed in in all of the works that he was doing and so guys it seemed as though um, the bulk of the work was on his shoulders you know to create all of those drawings but then i love the fact that he was able to put the other housemates thread the ladies through on how to bring the drawings alive by painting them the right way and everything came out flawless i mean guys check out the national flag the bb zamzi national flag i was so impressed and I almost got emotional with the way each of the housemates were able to tell their stories with each of the emblems that they, they had, you know, told Temba to also draw, create inside the emblem itself. Right, guys, it was just so beautiful. I love the way that each of those items fully represent the personality, the craft, the, the skill, the talent of each of the housemates. It, was, it just came out perfect. And then look at the national flag. Still using the concept of the big brother's eye, guys, the housemates were still able to put in their own creativity and make it come out unique, especially with the paintings and all. Aside that, look at the owl. I loved the description, the characteristics that they ascribed to the owl, relating the owl to big brother's omnipotent omnipresence in that house you know calling the owl a very very wise old man just like big brother and because of the owl's rotating neck it's just like big brother's ability to see and hear everything and then there was the flamingo beautiful excellent drawing there was the sunflower guys he was absolutely stunning and guys i was really impressed with the way the ladies were able to paint those works all those artworks perfectly without tainting them without corrupting the beautiful masterpiece that temba had actually created and then the cadet ceremonial parade guys that one it was simply amazing i enjoyed it i enjoyed it i was i was kind of scared you know during rehearsals when some of the housemates were feeling too reluctant to stomp their feet on the ground you know to do certain things but tonight with the actual presentation they did great they did well nobody was scared nobody was nervous to you know getting into their elements they all did everything where everything came out alive and then the part that was a bit kind of depressing and this one i actually support big brother 100 percent the national anthem was really depressing the lyrics are actually great but i don't know if it's the rhythm i don't know if it's the tone i don't know if it's the lack of enthusiasm that the housemates used to sing it it sounded really really depressing they did not sing it as patriots they did not sing it as nationalists they did not sing it with so much excitement and so guys just for that particular flop yes i would say that the national anthem was just a zero for me yes i mean no offense to venus that wrote that song but it was just too depressing it did not 
it was not outstanding at all but overall guys they did great and they deserve their win and for those ones who are smokers in the house that are already getting restless i just hope that big brother answers them and gives them their secrets otherwise they are going to start blowing off steam unexpectedly in that house so basically guys that is all that i have to share with you from tonight's um sixth weekly wager task presentation let me know your thoughts in the comment section below i will see you guys on another episode of frankly speaking with glory elijah don't go anywhere i'll see you shortly bye <laughs>